This piece is in honor of the Jewish New Year coming up, year 5776. Chosen seats. His nose was a curved, pot-bellied stove. Grandpa was a six-foot-two episode in my land of five-footers. We quietly walk along Bay Parkway, stopping when I pointed at Juju Bees or Superman comic books. When he caught my finger in the foam half of his evening's Rheingold, he poured me my own in a jelly glass. It's good. It's medicine, he said. Grandpa rode his wooden rocking chair in front of the bedroom window like an orthodox Jewish cowboy. Traditional leather straps wrapped around his arms fluttered as if fringes on a suede jacket. Graying sacred cloth showed below his vested sweaters. I perched backwards in the window seat between the frame and the bow grill rail. Sorry watching him with the straps, the shawl, and reciting from thick and thin tomes, edges curled like appendages. When I read out loud from library books, he'd point to letters. On the next visit to the candy store, we bought a black and white notebook, modeled like a cow's hide. He practiced ABCs and capitals and lowercase, I could not break his habit of writing from right to left. Once he took me by the hand down the parkway to the synagogue, up a staircase to the second floor, filled only with women and girls. Grandpa let go my hand and reappeared downstairs among hundreds of men wearing caps like his, swaying, praying, buzzing like bees. He wet his fingertips to turn the page I leaned over the balcony screaming, Grandpa, don't leave me up here. I'm not like them. I'm your English teacher. I'm your Rheingold girl. Wow.